Everybody in the house is like five more minutes. Good morning, family. It is about 6.30 in the morning and no one is awake yet, including Tabitha. She is sleeping soundly. I'm going to head off to work and set up for this weekend services. I've got my coffee with some butter in the bottom. I'm just going to use the Keurig machine at work to make my coffee. I just need a cup. So um, yeah, let's get this day started. I just wanted to show you all something so cute we're doing with our toddler class starting next week we're going to be handing out uh, on the third the weekend of the 31st these little books where parents have a prompt every day up until thanksgiving to uh, do little activities with their toddlers and preschoolers i just thought that this was so fun and cute and just a great way to celebrate Thanksgiving time. So Anthony and I just got home from work and I took a shower and Rachel's not home yet. She had to stop at Walmart to pick up a couple things for kids ministry. And then I have her going to Target to pick up my online order. Uh, we ordered those phase 10 cards, you know, that game that we played with everybody while we were camping. It was so much fun. We want to try to get the kids to play with us. Hopefully they will. Uh, so we ordered it from Target for like just the drive through pickup. I'll leave a link for them down below in the comments section in case you're interested. They sell them on Amazon. I only order them at Target because I'm an instantaneous kind of person and I wanted them right away. Uh, but let us know down in the comments section, have you played that game before? Because it was super fun and I think the kids will really enjoy it. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to start getting lunch slash dinner ready to go. Uh, for dinner, we're going to have flank steak. I'm going to go hot and fast on the Kamado Joe. Um, we're going to tug in like 600 degrees on the Kamado Joe, one minute on each side. So the way I seasoned the flank steak was I just took the flank steak and uh, I covered the entire thing in the Redmond's organic garlic and pepper seasoning. I love this stuff. There's a link for it down below and you can use the coupon code 2 Crazy Ketos. That's going to get you 15% off. But this is really all you need if you're looking to season your burgers, your steaks, your chicken. Uh, you can also use the lemon pepper, but the organic garlic and pepper one, it goes really well on beef. And they recently changed the formulation a little bit. It's the same formulation, but now it's more coarse. It's not like fine garlic and fine pepper. So it makes a really, really good rub. And they're also using like the kosher size salt with it. So we covered the entire thing. And now we're going to let it sit out to come up to room temperature since we're not smoking it. I want to get it to room temperature because... Again, one minute on each side, we're going for like a medium rare. So it's gonna be a really, really, really quick cook. Also, while we're waiting for Rachel, I'm gonna get a batch of the Maria Emmerich bread going. Okay, that's nice and fluffy. We're gonna go ahead and add the protein powder. One of the things we like to do to give it a little bit of extra flavor is we put some of this Redmond season salt or the garlic pepper one. We're going to go season salt and we just put a little bit inside and let it mix up inside of the whole bread. Now we're just going to go ahead and put our mixture into the loaf pans. Now I use smaller loaf pans because we end up getting two loaves and we just like it better that way. They're smaller pieces, but it's more than enough for us. So I kind of evenly divide it and then I'm going to shape it out. And then my secret is this organic garlic pepper. I sprinkle a bunch of it on top and it gives it a nice little crust when you go to eat it. Now we do get a lot of questions for which egg white protein we use. This is the one we use. It's the It's Just Egg White Protein. It's literally just powdered egg whites. 
Uh, we get it on Amazon. I will leave a link for it down below. It is expensive, but not as expensive as some of the other ones out there. The best value is to buy the big bag. This one is the three pound bag. I think it's just over like 50 bucks, but when you measure it out per serving, it's much cheaper to buy the big bag. It's lasted a while because we make a lot of bread and we've still probably got about a half a bag left. Okay, so we got it up to 400 degrees. Rachel's on her way home. So we're gonna get this thing going all the way, get it up to about 600 degrees. So we're gonna open the top, open the bottom, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the grates down there on the bottom. So we're gonna cook all the way down on the bottom row. This one here. And this one here. Let everything come up to temperature and then again, gonna be super hot and quick. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Pepper jumped on you. Uh, you're home. I am, I'm home. Kind of a weird day. So we're doing the intro. Do you miss me? I always miss you. We're doing the intro at 2.30 in the afternoon. Like we're supposed to have done the intro, but I was not getting up this morning. There was no Neither way. Neither was Tabitha. <laughs> I could, even a walk, she was like, no, she wouldn't even open her eyes and look at me. Usually she will flap her tail even if she's ignoring me. Nope, she was completely out cold. Yeah, I just wasn't getting up. So Rachel got up. So we did pray, and then I went right back to sleep. <laughs> did you eat any breakfast? I have not had any breakfast. I had uh, a water and a seltzer water, had some electrolytes, some of the Redmond capsules. Yes, thank the um, Lord for those but guys. We're gonna do flank steak, and uh, now that you're home, I've got the grill up to temperature. It's gonna be super quick. You're gonna have to hold the camera for this one, because it's gonna be like one minute each side, Rest it for five minutes. That's my and kind it will of be ready. Completely done. Never done this before. It's an experiment. Okay. So we don't usually buy flank steak, but flank steak's cheap. It is. And so we figure, like, why not do something different? We had some flank steak when we were at uh, Fogo de Chao, and it that was, was delicious. pretty good. So I figured, why not do this? I had some in the freezer anyway. We bought it at that Carol's place because it was like five dollars a pound or something it was like that. too cheap to ignore we got to at least give it a shot now yeah. i did have a coffee at work with a tablespoon of butter in it i love that keurig machine at work thanks mom for <laughs> providing it for this staff because i enjoy it now i did go out and do the chickens and uh somehow they're all getting over onto the other side of that makeshift fence I they're think, like little houdinis i think they're jumping I th well i found the older ones now i think they're jumping over it so it may be time to pull it down, but I really don't want them on the other grass because we've had such a like, weird drought that some areas of the grass that didn't take and died. Yeah. So we may have to like replace some of that, but I think for the most part it's down and I don't think that they're gonna dig up all of the grass. It's funny that the little guys instigated it because the big ladies- They were never bothering. Never even interested, but once they see like stuff that's fun going on away from them. When once the little guys went on the other side, it was like FOMO. Yeah. Like I'm missing out over there. Now I did. Uh, I got some Maria Emmert protein bread. So speaking I, of the chickens, I took the yolks, and these are like they're gooey. Like, yeah. So we like they they like them cooked just a little bit. There's obviously more nutrition just like when you eat them. Right. If you eat them raw for them, but it gets all over them. So. I, I just, what I do is I very lightly cook it. So it's just kind of like a skim on the outside, but it's super gooey. And so we can go give this to them. Uh, update on the baby. Yes. Uh, it looks like the rye neck is gone. She's doing really well. She's doing great. She was out there running around with them all. Although somebody chased each other and you know, the little spouts that we have uh, for them to get the self water. Yeah. They knocked it like halfway and it emptied the entire 55 gallon drum. It's like, why are you guys acting weird? No water. Great 
job. So, like, another thing you have to check every once in a while because I was like, how do they go through 55 gallons? Yep, somebody made the nozzle Someone to was constantly thirsty. run. Yeah. So, once you put it out there, they were all, like, super, super happy that they had some more water out there. Well, I would be They thinking. had it in the little one, but they, they want those little watering cups. They love just every single time they pass by something, just dipping in. Yeah. Let's go do the steak. Okay, here we go. Hot and fast. There's the hot part. It is about 650 degrees. So we are going to put these on because when we put our hands in there, it is going to be hot. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Hear that sizzle. Wow, that's beautiful. If you can hear the sizzling over the chickens. Well, that looks delicious. We're going to go ahead and let this rest for a couple of minutes. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah. Look at that. Are you gonna come over here for a taste test or are you gonna wait for lunch? I'm gonna eat the entire thing if I come over there. Look at that. That is a perfect medium rare. And tap with this a bit. That is beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. That's the Rachel cut right there. Right there. But you can't even wait for me. I can't. This looks too stinking good. Lunch time. Yum. Okay, let's go ahead and give a good taste of this. Oh my gosh, it cuts like butter. Wow. I cannot believe how quickly it cooked. Mmm. That is good. Mmm. That Redmond seasoning. Mm. Perfect. So we got that with a couple of eggs. Um, your eggs right out of the butt. <laughs> they were literally, so warm. Literally, no, like literally I reached in and grabbed it like she had just finished. <laughs> now those are fresh. So you got some nice fresh eggs. I have fresh butt nuggets. I have a beef. We just got demonetized. I know. I have a beef with beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. What is that? All this protein is growing hair, not just on my head, but on my face. If I don't use wax strips once a week, I look like Mario or Luigi. I don't even need to purchase a Halloween costume. I, I'm growing it myself. Wow. Yes. So this is an expense for BBB and E that we did not budget for. This is six dollars right here. I'm pretty angry about this. I'm very angry. Why? Come, because I just wanted to grow here. I wanted to grow here. I wanted to grow here. It's all over my back. I'm I'm wearing a sweater back there, so you need to nair my back. Did you get me some nair? I did. Okay. Because I got like a sweater back there. Because protein. So Rachel ran to the dollar store to pick up some more things for kids ministry. And I just got a text message for uh, something I was selling on offer up. The person wants to buy it. So I am currently sitting in the parking lot for our bank to meet the person. I'm selling an old camera stabilizer. That's how we are able to upgrade our technology. A lot of times is uh, when a new one comes out that we want to get, we take the old one and we sell it on offer up. You can get some really good deals buying stuff and it's a great way to get rid of things without having a giant garage sale at your house. Uh, if you do use offer up though, be careful. I don't ever have people come to our house. You always meet them somewhere. We usually use the Publix by us or the bank. Uh, also our Walmart, they have a police station and they let you go in there as well. So it just depends on like what I'm selling and that kind of stuff. But it's a great way to get rid of things. Let us know down in the comment section. Have you ever used any of those online things like OfferUp or, you know, even like eBay or that kind of stuff? I don't like eBay because of all the fees. OfferUp is really good. It's local and you get the money right away. I have to say, Anthony is torturing me. He is over here cooking right now and I don't know what it is. It smells so but good. it smells delicious and I know it does not consist of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Which it's onions. I can't. Oh, it's onions. Is that what it is? What yeah, else yeah. are you cooking over there? Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. I, I would good. love the shrimp part. Remember what I said about keto brick? Two days in a row. Take a look at this that just came in. Oh, I, I chose a butter knife, of course. Look at this. It's like, again, the car thing. Stuff shows up, 
when you can't have it, you get your car, and then all of a sudden you see that car. My lollies came. <laughs> Because they had that big sale, remember? Yes. So we that got, was a deal. It was a really good deal. So we got a bunch of lollies because holiday's coming, and this stuff makes great, like, pie crust. Uh, you can use it for a cheesecake crust. So we got German chocolate, cinnamon pecan, uh, peanut butter macadamia. I think I got, like, three of each one. Oh, pumpkin spice for underneath the pumpkin pie. So uh, we actually have a discount coupon. It's two crazy ketos. I think it gets you 10% off, but they were having that really good moving sale. So at $9, it was worth it, but now I want to eat them and I can't eat them. We can just put them in the freezer though and they'll keep. Yeah, put them in the refrigerator, put them in the freezer and they will last. We usually store them in the freezer and they'll last a long time. But this is probably the best type of cookie kind of thing that you can get. Uh, ingredients are amazing. For example, peanut butter macadamia, which I think is the best one. Dry roasted peanuts, macadamia nuts, almond flour, resveratrol, stevia, and olive oil and egg. That's it. And an a serving, there's eight servings in here. A serving is 110 calories, 10 grams of fat, three grams of protein, and three total carbohydrates. Total carbohydrates. So if you eat the entire bag, it's only 24 total carbohydrates. Over 330 people in tonight's live stream. What, what a an, great live stream. What an awesome night. Except for I had to sit next to a dinosaur person. Dinosaur wrangler, sir. Or oh, wrangler. Wrangler. What exactly does that do? I wrangle dinosaurs. <laughs> Obviously. We forgot to say this is day 33 of the beef butter bacon and egg challenge. So that means we have nine more days to go. I'm enjoying every delicious bite. So uh, somebody asked us during our live stream tonight, like what are our plans? So the plan is we're gonna end on October 31st. I'm gonna make an appointment to get some labs done. We're going to continue eating beef butter bacon and eggs until we can get our labs, which I'm gonna assume right. is like November 1st, November 2nd, somewhere around there. But on November 1st, we will take all our measurements. We will uh, get on the Way. scale. We will take pictures so that we can compare everything. In our underwears. We uh, we have a before picture. We have a set of pictures we took, I guess, about a week and a half in. And I think we're going to do a set of pictures tomorrow. Okay. To see if we can see. We've been doing that for our own self because, Can't again, weigh. You know, we're not allowed to weigh. So we've been kind of just, I thought it would be a good progression and uh, so, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna see bare all, not not all, but as close not to like, all as YouTube is not, going to allow. Not naked, but like you know, yeah. underwears. Yeah, and uh, it's just for us. It's it's about accountability. So, but we're going to stay on this until we can get our labs done because we don't want to skew our labs with right. eating, even if it's vegetables or any or having a little bit of stevia or something like that. I want the purest form. Yeah, but. You know, honestly, our plan moving forward is to be eating the way we're eating now, like mostly meat. We feel great. Obviously incorporating some other meat, but we're going to, we want to introduce things slowly. So one of the things that I would like to do is try and have a day of not eating beef and eating chicken. And then yeah. we're going to see how we feel about 48 hours later, because that's about how long it's going to take for that to impact you and see how we feel, you know. Are we never going to eat chicken? If all of a sudden I get some inflammation from chicken, does that mean I'm never going to eat chicken again? We, no. We love chicken wings. <laughs> it just means that like, hey, you probably shouldn't be eating 24 ounces of chicken breast a day as your only meal source. Right. A, a protein. You know? So, you know, it, it's going to be that kind of stuff. Like same thing with cheese. Will I never eat cheese if I get some inflammation from cheese? No. But it also will mean that maybe you shouldn't be eating a pound of cheese a day, Joe. Well, and that's the thing for me, too. It's like, I don't want hot flashes again. It's not like November 1st, back to Fruit Loops. Right. Like, I, I'm enjoying how we feel. Yep. I would like to continue feeling great. So. And again, there's nothing wrong. Like, we plan on eating a bunch of keto chow. Mm -hmm. Like, going back to keto chow on Sundays and keto chow on our busy days. Like, which is, like, Tuesdays is normally a pretty busy day. Right. But... The problem is we were eating like keto chow and a bunch of other keto treats and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's going to be 
mostly meat. Like I know, like Chris and Miriam, I believe that right now they're doing like keto chai and meat, and they're having phenomenal results. Yeah, you know, I, it's it's about putting things in their place. Exactly. And, and I, I again, for me, we just mess up our metabolism. We we got back into this. We can only eat this amount of fuel because I don't want to gain weight. And what we've proven to ourselves, at least, is you can eat more food. Like your body is going to adjust to it and stop eat, like trying to eat less than a thousand calories a day and fill in the bulk with a giant salad that is not doing anything for me nutritionally. Well, I can tell you right now, I am not going back to intermittent fasting every single day, 20 hours a day. No. I don't think I was doing myself any favor with that. Now, are we kind of intermittent fasting now? Yeah, there are days like today, we didn't eat breakfast. Right. Right? So our first meal was at three o'clock in the afternoon. That's an intermittent fast. But that's not every we don't but have tomorrow to do that every we may day. eat breakfast. It's yeah. how does your body feel? We're gonna keep saying this over and over because these are one of the thing takeaways we've gotten. We're gonna eat based on based on our body, not based on this. And before yeah. we were this is determining when we eat. And that's right where we were before. Because now your hormones are going Hey, your watch says it's time to eat. Right. And let's let our hormones get back to where they're supposed to be. Your hormones will tell you when you're supposed to eat once you stop looking at this. I think I've stopped trusting Rachel. I had no faith in Rachel, no trust in Rachel. You mean that you had stopped, but now you are trusting Rachel. Now I am. Mm-hmm. Now I can start like, you know, did Rachel make mistakes in the past? Yes. But do I have Me to too. live every day moving forward like... I can't be trusted with my own health journey. Right. No. Right. I, I don't want to live like that. Like, there's nothing wrong with occasionally having a mallow bar from keep from perfect from perfect keto. Yeah. Or having some keto bread. But I got to the point where that was my meal. Instead of eating beef as my meal and having that as my dessert, I was making that my meal. And that's not the appropriate thing to do because that could get me into trouble. And again, that's my personal body. Yeah. So moving forward, if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat meat. And I'm sure you'll hear us say this again. And then when I want a snack, I'm going to eat meat. If I want a sweet treat, it's going to be with my meal after I've had my meat. We talk about prioritizing protein. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Well, that is going to be our video for today. Uh, now, let us know again, how are you doing on whatever challenge you may be doing? How are you just doing on your keto, carnivore, yeah. ketovore, whatever you're doing? What you doing? How are you doing on your you version of keto? Let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time I wrangle a dinosaur, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.